first came to uh, Ukraine 10 years ago, from a geographic point of view, Ukraine have good energy, a good feng shui. They have nice mountain, they have nice river, and they connect to the uh, ocean, and a nice flat land. So from that point of view, you know, we say feng shui is actually very good. Water means the flow, nice flow, liquidity. See, good water means good money, means rich country. I really enjoy the, you know, the old Kiev. The old buildings have the real nice old charm. You know, you look at it and feel relaxed. You now feel that you want to look at it forever. But when you look at new buildings, you know, you take a look, you know, just a few seconds, you turn away. It makes you feel stressful, not relaxed. You now modern building and old building are different. Now we have the you know, four floor building, we have skyscraper. But we don't have a choice because the, we all have limited land to support so many people. It's not a better, you know, it's a necessity issue. This is a very interesting place. You know, we have the, you know, the old uh, farmhouse and school and church. And the form are very beautiful, you know, so wholesome. Now, now you look at this building. See, the difference between the ancient building and modern architect. In old time, people don't care about beautiful. They just make a house functional. They use the natural material, you know, the thatch roof and the log, you know, very simple. See, they emphasize functional, but it turned out just beautiful. It's simple and beautiful. In the old time, people living in nature, and whatever the energy resonates with natural energy. You know, the formal roof, you know, this way, the resonance with the land. See, the contour land was like this shape, you know, it's not like a desert, or not like a very sharp mountain, you know, like alpine. So, they just resonate with, you know, it's also very functional. And also, the, of course, the people are very smart in ancient time. You know, they had a smaller window, you know, so to protect heat and, and protect cold. Why in old time, your window is small and now it's big? When you feel life is stressful, and then you almost like you need to escape. Big window make you feel, make you escape because you can look out psychologically. A modern architect tend to be something very beautiful, but it end up you know, neither functional nor, you know, not beautiful. Position of the door is very important. This big building in the door in the center. Actually, ideally, the house should be like a human body, symmetrical. You know, we are center, and this is exactly the way it is. The big house, the form is very holistic. The nourish the human body better. You don't have lots of small cut. You know, say modern architect. You know, modern architect very very uh, choppy. You know, it's most likely, you know, that, you know, that corner is an ideal you know, sleeping place. You now with a you know, mountain with a wall behind them and sleep on the dragon side. Is this the exactly layout, inside layout? Ooh, yeah. Good. Very nice. Where they put the beauty is important. Relationship is important. So with a big beauty here and the small beauty on the dragon side, you know, it make good sense, good energy. If the building would be on that side, it would not be as good, you know. Besides that, when energy flow down this way, you want to have some building here, you know, to, to stop the flow. Then also have good communication between door to door. So the layout and all the building is also very important in the village. This is a very nice uh, school setting. Plenty of window for light and for air flow. And the fact teacher was there with a mountain, with a wall there, is a good uh, follow the feng shui design principle. And you protect it, you know, and all students come in here. So you are teacher in commanding position. This is beautiful, beautiful, the building. It also had the kind of scale, you know. Actually, interior was really nice, symmetrical. You come in there, and door is in the center of the church, not on one side. You know, very formal door had to be in the center. And then all the church are tall because they give ascending energy. Information level you know, reach to the car you know, to a height, you know. So you don't see the church in you know, a flat. You know, it's all up that way. So and and this is a beautiful design. And uh, you know, it's a good idea too that to have this kind of setting to reserve for future generations, understand how the, our ancestors live our life and how, 
harmonious they live with the nature. You can see that the architecture, they tell the culture, the technology, you know, and the spirits of that time. And the architecture reflects people's life. I think that we had to learn from, from past, we had to learn from the nature setting. I do believe, you know, we are looking to that great future. You know, once the energy flow good, you know, people will be happy and they will be rich, will be prosperous.